That was a big old pop. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to Atomic Underground. My name is Nick. Today we're pulling the blast valve off level two of the launch control center. Enjoy. Boy, life would be way better if we had an impact on these after they're broke loose. Well, that can be arranged. Home Depot doesn't have three three quarter to half adapters, right? Um, I got most of this stuff at Tractor Supply. Oh, one of those. I can pull a GT here. Um, they don't sponsor us, but they could. Because Tractor Supply Ratchet, so many people on the channel were like, what the f ratchet was that? <laughs> he put a 10 foot breaker and it's still here. This one. <laughs> so over the course of a couple hours, we wire wheeled all the bolts around the blast valve and took off the nuts. Uh, each nut uh, takes an inch and seven-eighths ratchet to undo, and there are 20 of them around the blast valve itself. Despite how rusty these look, they actually weren't that hard to undo. As you can see, we weren't using any impact stuff. Uh, the biggest reason for that is we just don't have air run all the way down there yet. Unfortunately, I lost a hard drive that had this footage on it. This happens to be one that we saved on a cell phone that day, so I apologize for the reduced quality in this little piece where we took the hat off the end. So as part of the process of pulling the blast valve, we had to make a homemade gear puller because your local auto parts store just doesn't have anything quite this big. So we used a plasma cutter to cut a couple notches and a piece of scrap steel, and then uh, for the other part, of the puller we had to use two by sixes because we didn't have any more scrap steel on site. Unfortunately it takes us about half an hour to get to the local hardware store from the site and sometimes you just have to make do with what you have on the property. There she goes. All right. Good. Yep. Absolutely. So right now we're using this uh, homemade gear puller just to unseat the blast valve from the wall. The blast valve goes about six feet into the wall and we're just trying to pull whoa, it off whoa, those whoa. bolt heads that are coming out. Just looking at that two by six yanking in. Try the other side. Uh, how many? Yeah. We got a two by four down here. Okay. Okay. Hey, it's going to be bigger than that. Unless you're going to stack multiple of them. Here you go. Sounds like it's raining in here. Yeah, it does. Damn it, you in here. Sure would be nice to freak over here. Yeah. Turn a bolt. Oh, if we had the fan on, it'd be blowing a shitload of cold air right on you. Hey, we're still probably getting close to the limit of the 2 by 4 here. I need to put that other pump back. So after unseating the blast valve from the wall, it's time to pull out the five ton chain hoist and yank her on out. Well, the blast valve is actually supposed to break into two pieces. Unfortunately for us, it didn't want to separate, so we just had to pull it out as one giant piece. It's going to get a great shot. Thank you. 
getting that close to it and I can't get far enough away from it. Not the blast valves out of the wall. We're going to store it in the side of level two in one of the uh, corners where we're not doing much work. Eventually, we will have a crane out on site. We'll lift it out the access portal and have it restored. At some point, we'd like to reinstall it in the wall once the escape shaft is cleaned out. Well, it's moving good because you're moving the carpet. Okay. You're taking the carpet with you. Hold up. What are you looking at? Well, gra gravelly, nasty mud. And it is... It is the uh, overpipe that's leaking. We could probably get some sort of pipe plug for it. The what plug? The, uh, the delay pipe. The differential pressure plug? Yes. Okay. What? Mm-hmm. She's dripping in from the top. Where does that actually run to? It goes just up. It's It starts about right where the this groove is. Yeah. And then about five feet back is where it comes in. Okay. So it's And I can see it leaking from both. So if we get some sort of plug for that, like a rubber or one of those expanding pipe plugs. Is it PVC? Uh, it's gotta be steel, everything in here is steel. Good job guys. Sorry, right, shutting this guy off.
you're not bleeding, you're not working, right? Okay. Your fault.